A new federal policy gives Georgia the opportunity to give many young immigrants who are eligible to work without threat of deportation better access to college. Today, these potential students are not eligible for Georgia's discounted in-state tuition policies. In fact, many Georgia universities even ban their admission altogether. This puts Georgia at a competitive disadvantage in the national and global competition for jobs. Here are three reasons why these policies are not in the best interest of Georgia. First, they fail to create the same diverse, attractive workforces that 27 other states develop with more inclusive tuition policies. Second, they undermine Georgia's official goal to create 250,000 more college graduates by 2020. Third, they fail to capitalize on Georgia's investment in its K-12 public school system. Georgia needs to give these residents better access to higher education. It is an investment that offers tremendous returns. This has been a production of the Georgia Budget and Policy Institute.